Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and I have just made my recovery flash drive for this system and had it copy the recovery partition onto this. So, in theory, all I need is this to recover the computer to exactly as it was the day I took it out of the box, which was yesterday. But if you're watching this, I'm guessing uh, bad things may have happened, and whether it's a virus or a kid with a fondness for deleting, anyway, somehow things are so messed up on the computer that you don't have any choice but to run the recovery program and to put it back to how it was the day you took it out of the box. Now, you can do that within Windows if you can still get that far, but if I'm not going to cover all the possibilities. I'll just say if you're at this point, and if you had the foresight to do the um, to create this bootable flash drive and to have the recovery partition copied onto it, then you should be good to go. So I'm going to plug this in, start up the system, go through the steps, see how long it takes, see how hard it is. If you need this information, please watch carefully. Okay, ready to get started. The first thing you want to do is you need to have enough power for it to complete this process. You really don't want it to. Uh, fail part way through because the power went out. So if you're sure you have a full battery and you want to run it that way, go ahead. But to be on the safe side, I'd recommend making sure it's plugged in. Now you've got your flash drive. Hopefully you have a USB 3.0 flash drive. A USB 2.0 flash drive will work, but I imagine it's going to be much slower. I'm, I think this is really going to zip through this recovery. If it's blue inside that piece in there, that tells you it's USB 3.0. I'm going to plug this into the port. All right, to boot from the flash drive, you need to hold the volume down button while you press the power button. Keep holding the volume down button until you see what needs to come up. So I'm going to hold volume down, power. Well, I'm getting tired of holding it. Saw the, the flash drive flash, so it's reading it. Okay, here we are. This is, they don't give you any explanation of where you are, whose language. They've got English, Spanish, and French. Choose keyboard layout. There are a variety. I'm going to US. Okay, here are some options. Exit and continue to Windows 8. Use a device. Troubleshoot. Or turn off your PC. I'm going to go to troubleshoot. Refresh your PC, reset your PC, or advanced options, I'm going to check, and let's try reset your PC. Here's what happens, all your personal files and apps will be removed, your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. Okay. Okay, repartition the drives or keep the existing partitions. Re yes, repartition them. You want to fully clean your drive. When you remove the files, you can also clean the drive so that the files can't be recovered easily. Aha! They're going to go in there and do the ones and zeros or however they do it on a solid state drive to completely wipe it so it's not recoverable. Um, to do it that way is more secure, but it takes much longer, I imagine. Okay, so we're going to just, just remove my files rather than fully clean the drive. All ready to go. This will remove your personal files and apps. Restore all settings to their defaults. Make sure your PC is plugged in. Yes, it is. And it says it's resetting the PC. It's at 1%. 2%. Flash drive is now active, so it looks like it is going to take the that uh, recovery partition. It found it on the flash drive, and that is what it's using, which is what I wanted. This is very, very unclear about how to go about this. Just doing an update here. It's been five minutes, and it's at 43, 44, 45 percent, almost halfway through. All right, seems to be in the home stretch here. The Flash drive light was flashing just early on in the process, um, so I think it copied over the files it needed relatively quickly, and this has just been a matter of rewriting everything on the solid state drive. It shut down. Let's see what we're looking at. 26. It looks like it took seven to eight minutes, assuming it's going to boot up into regular Windows 8 this time. Seems to be doing this rather repeatedly. Uh, maybe I need to pull out the flash drive. Oh, I don't want to if it hasn't completed the reinstallation. Ah, I'm glad I waited. Okay, here we are, back at uh, out of the box experience. Pick your language, put in the computer name, your name, set up the account, all the usual stuff. So it looks like this works. 
really didn't take that long, uh, seven or eight minutes from uh, once I figured out exactly where to go uh, at the start to get it to work. But um, with this flash drive, it went pretty quickly. I'd recommend, it, especially if you're going to mess around with your computer and you might mess it up and you're going to be needing to restore from the flash drive, definitely get a USB 3.0 drive. These Patriot drives are really nice. I have several of them. So I'll put a link down below to this in case you want to read the reviews on Amazon. But if you're going to go with uh, putting your recovery partition on a flash drive, at least get a USB 3.0. And please do put your recovery, at least copy it onto a flash drive, even if you don't delete it off the system to get that extra seven or so gigabytes of free space, at least put it on the flash drive, because when the day comes that you need it, you really need it.